Hi friends! Are you ready for story time? We're going to be reading a book about a bubble. Billy the Bubble, A Wild West Bubble Bath, a story by Tia Batten, illustrated by SillyGoose.co. Ooh, this looks great. Billy the Bubble, way out in the old wet west, past a sliver of soap and around the loofah, lived a bad bubble. Some might say he was the baddest bubble of them all. This bad bubble's name was... Billy the Bubble. Mm. Now, Billy used to be a nice bubble, who was kind to the other citizens of Tubville. But one day, he got mixed in with a bit of dirt and grime, and he turned bad. Ever since, Billy only did bad bubble things, like dunking all the bath toys, stealing suds from the bubble bank, and squirting the pirates on their ship with his squirt gun. Billy the Bubble had turned into a real meanie. The good people of Tubville were afraid of Billy and no one knew how to stop him. One day, Billy came bobbing through Tubville on his rubber ducky. He swished and splashed until the water flew right out of Tubville and straight onto Tile Town. All the citizens of Tubville hurried away to hide. The squirty fish swam into the cup at the bottom of the tub. The pirate ship floated behind the mountain of suds near the old leaky faucet. And the baby shark, well, he didn't know what to do. Billy tipped back his hat, looked around, and laughed. <laughs> Tubville was his, or so he thought. What Billy didn't realize was that there was a new toy in town, Sheriff Pops, the octopus. Sheriff Pops didn't like how Billy the Bubble was bullying his town. He decided he needed to put an end to Billy the Bubble's bad behavior. Billy, Sheriff Pops shouted as he crept down from the shower curtain. You need to stop your bad behavior. He bounced off his duck and floated towards Sheriff Pops. Yeah. Said Billy. What are you gonna do about it? I'd hate to burst your bubble, Billy, but I think it's time for you to move along. Now you can either clean up your act or you can float over to Toilet Town. Sheriff Pops told the bad bubble. Billy splashed Pops. No, I'm thinking I'll sit right here. Then that bad bubble laughed. <laughs> Sheriff Pops wiped the water from his face. Now you've got to go. He wriggled forward onto his tentacles cause this tub ain't big enough for the both of us. Just then, Billy the Bubble pulled out his squirt gun, planning to squirt Pops, and a tentacle came up and pop! The grimy bubble was gone. And in his place was a smaller, squeaky clean bubble. Billy the Bubble wasn't a bad bubble after all. He had just been covered in grime, which made him feel and act bad. With the grime gone, Billy the Bubble was back to his old kind self. Gee, bath buddies, Billy said with a pout. I'm awful sorry for all the mean things I did. Can you ever forgive me? One by one, the tub villains emerged from their hiding spots. The squirty fish, the soapy pirates, and the baby shark all looked at each other. Then they said, of course we forgive you, Billy. Everyone cheered and together they celebrated that their old friend, Billy the Bubble, was back to being the best bubble buddy around. That was an awesome book. It's very interesting that sometimes you may feel bad, so sometimes you wanna act bad. I know that when I'm dirty, or I'm hungry, or it's hot outside, or it's cold outside, that that might really affect my mood. But I have to remember that there's other people around me. So I have to take care of myself so that I am feeling in a good mood so that I can help other people and that I am not mean to them and I don't act bad, right? You know what time it is. It's time to find out our co-creators. Show us co-creators in the app. Tell me, tell me, tap, tap, tap. Hello, smartphone, tell me today. Did all our friends have fun and play? I hear my friends, Timothy, Connor, 
Oliver, Portia, and Lainey had fun today. Won't you have fun another day with me? Thank you so much for joining me on Reading with Rella B. If you would like to check out this book, it'll be down in the link below. And also, if you'd like to become a co-creator, you can check out rellabbooks.com. And if you would enjoy a screen-free version while you're on the go, I have a podcast called Reading with Rella B. So thank you so much and toodles! Do, 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 do.